Ever since the beginning of Pokemon, we were always introduced to a champion of each of the different regions. Whether that's Lance for Indigo Johto League or Cynthia in Sinnoh, even Ash in Alola. There's always been a number one champ, but it wasn't until Generation 8 when we got introduced to the champion of champions, Leon. For the first time ever, Pokemon gave us a character that was considered the best of all trainers. And I thought, what better way to beat Poke Rogue than to do it as the number one champ? And real quick, if you don't know what Poke Rogue is, it is a roguelike Pokemon game where you go through 200 floors of endless battling. And when you start your run, you get a maximum of 10 points with each Pokemon costing a different amount of points. So for today, we got three Pokemon to start us off with Leon's team, which we'll start with his first ever Pokemon, Charmander, to get us to his iconic Charizard, Grookey to get us to his extremely powerful Rehoboom, and then finally Dreepy to get us his amazing Dragapult. Let's see if the champion of champions can even dominate in Poke Road. I'm so excited to be doing this challenge as Leon. He's a sick character, and I mean, technically with the anime, he's also not the only champion of champions, but today we're gonna pretend that he was, and it still is, right? We're just gonna pretend that for now. But I'm really excited to do this. He doesn't have a very extensive team, so we are gonna deep dive into his team in the video game in Sword and Shield as well as his team in the anime series which gives us a couple more choices hopefully than being just stuck into his main team of six. These lower levels were a piece of cake. Our Charmander honestly is extremely busted. He kind of hard carries the team. I mean he's got Oblivion Wing, Dragon Breath, Earth Power. As we still work up to Flamethrower, bro he's dominant. Even Ivy didn't give us much trouble. Sadly though, she does have a Totodile and a Rookie D, which I know will become an absolute pain later. But then we got to one of the most important items for this run. Awesome, we got the map. That's a great first pick, you know what I'm saying? We, we need that really early on. Hopefully we can choose regions to possibly get some of Leon's Pokemon. I'm a little scared, they're rare Pokemon overall. So I, I really don't know what our luck's gonna be in terms of building up this Leon team. I, I, I don't think we have the best of chance, but we're gonna try our best, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna try our best. As we continue through these floors, let me explain the biome mechanic in Poke Rogue real quick. Because I honestly tried to pay extra attention to this because we're so limited to a Leon team in this game, we gotta make sure we go to the right biome. But basically the game will always start you off in a plains biome. After that, there are different percent chances to go to a certain biome or the map gives you the option to go there as well. And of course, each biome has a certain set of Pokemon available to spawn there, so we really needed to be smart with where we're going next here. So for our first choice, we go towards... I don't think there's necessarily anything for us in the other two regions. So we're gonna try and stick to the water region. Hopefully we can find a Sobble, and maybe that can also lead us to his Seismitoad that he uses in the Battle Tower. That's the hope that we can find something like that. That'd be pretty sick. And we continue dominating through the lake as Grookey because Grookey's the absolute goat. I love him. But we eventually got him. And the boy Grookey's evolving. I can't lie, Grookey's like the only grass starter I really went out of my way for when playing the Pokemon games. Mainly because of the Grookey gang moves. Like, or memes, not moves. I love the memes. They're so funny. Grookey gang, Grookey gang. Like, I loved it. Now we got Thwacky. Yeah, that's my boy. I, I, I rock with Grookey. That's my boy, for real. Oh, Ivy, Ivy, Ivy. When will you ever learn to leave me alone? You know what I'm saying? Like, truly. I, I, I need you to just leave me alone, sister. We completely destroyed Ivy again. I mean, Maractus, come on. She gotta be trolling with that pick. That's a crazy pick. But we countered these watery floors looking for some new Pokemon recruits. We did get some solid items through this section. I mean, we got another XP all, which is absolutely insane. But for the most part, everything was light work through these floors. Nothing too special until we came through another map decision, which I decided to go to the swamp in hopes of finding a Seismitoad because I know the beach and construction probably wouldn't really do us justice. But honestly, it was so crazy to go this many floors with only three Pokemon. I couldn't believe it. But we finally got some Pokemon luck sent our way. Let's go. We got a Tim Pole. That is exactly what we wanted. Now we can get the Seismitoad. That's what we were looking forward to. I'm just gonna make sure our Tremeleon doesn't die. Let's just dwindle it down just a little bit. Okay, he's gonna kill us next turn. Uh, I'm just gonna Ultra Ball. We don't, we're not gonna be able to catch many Pokemon anyways. 
There we go. We got a temple. I'll take it. We got Seismitoad. I, I, I'm glad I decided to combine the video game plus the animated series. Because if I didn't, I think this would be a much, much more difficult challenge. So I'll take them. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thankfully, we found a temple for the team. We definitely need it. And as we continue through these floors, leveling up our team extremely easily, we actually evolved him into Palpatoad, which is great. But want to know another crazy part about this biome? We found another one! And I caught her, so now we got a dynamic duo of Seismitoads coming up. That's pretty awesome. Gotta do what we gotta do to survive this challenge, you know? After the swamp, we came to another map decision, and I decided to go to the graveyard, which, hear me out, could be a great idea if it works out for me. Let me explain. So the graveyard itself may not have any Pokemon for us that was a part of Leon's team, but it can take us to the Abyss biome afterwards, which also has nothing, but once again, Hear me out. There is a very small percent chance of getting the Wasteland biome, which is completely filled with dragon Pokemon. So my thought process was to place this bet and hopefully we get to a Haxorus. But before I get too ahead of myself, we did get Leon's Charizard is finally here. Honestly, his most dominant Pokemon, and to be honest, my most dominant Pokemon in Poke Rogue. Like, I got him insane egg moves and everything, so. Charizard's about a hard carry. I, I can't lie. He's about a and wacky. Bro, Rhea Boom. Beautiful. I loved seeing Rhea Boom in the anime series. Like, how Leon used him in battle was so cool. And I'm very excited to have him on the team. He's awesome. We dominated through the graveyard. And we also got our first Seismitoad evolution. So, that was awesome. And we were off to the Abyss. During the Abyss, we made light work of every Pokemon in our path until we got to Ivy, which, to be honest, we sort of destroyed her again. But the thing that completely caught me off guard with her is she had a Puppetar. That's insane. She's going to have a Tyranitar later. That's going to be so dangerous. We eventually pushed through the Abyss, but sadly, our dreams of going to that amazing wasteland for a Haxorus was completely crushed. The game took us to a cave instead. But the caves, of course, was also light work. We sped right through it all, leading us to the next map choice. We entered the Banlands and dominated these floors as well, all in hopes to get some Pokemon good luck, which we did on floor 76. Beautiful. We ended up getting the boy, Rhydon. So now we just, let's catch him real quick. He'll be a part of the team, and then hopefully we can get his item to evolve him into Rhyperior is the goal. Oh crap, I poisoned him. My bad. I didn't mean to poison you. Oh my god, I hate myself. I'm so sorry. I, I still can't believe that happened. I was legit about to rip my hair off for a second, but guess what? We immediately got a second chance. We immediately got a second chance. We will not kill you. Okay, take don't kill yourself either. Oh, okay, I was like, wait, isn't take down a move that, like, can hurt you? We're gonna rogue ball you because that's how special you are, right on, right on. Just you know, <laughs> let's go. We actually have a full team. It consists of two seismic toads, but we have a full team, so we'll take it. Well, hey, sh we'll take it. Hopefully, we can evolve into Rhyperior. That's that's the goal. If we can get into that, that'd be fire. After we got our right on, we went through the mountain biome and was actually able to. That's cool. The game just gives us the linking cord as the item option to get right here. Here, I thought maybe it would show up the other item that we would give them and it would just evolve them as well. That's cool. That's how that works. You, you, you get a linking cord to get right here. Here, I dig it. Cool. It's nice to have them on the team. Hopefully, we can get a new Pokemon here in the mountain. And oh my god. Oh my. God. God! Charizard! And, you know, hopefully go crazy and get rid of the double seismitoad. What the hell, Gigalith? The mountain region was light work as well, but we did get a pretty cool boss on floor 90. I didn't mean to kill Ogre Pond. I kind of wanted to catch him for, like, candy purposes. But he's dead. Oh, well, my bad. <laughs> That's a crazy Pokemon. I don't really get too many rare boss Pokemon in my classic run. So that was kind of tough to see. That was kind of cool. The volcano biome was next up, and we destroyed it with our seismitoads. And once Ivy showed up on floor 95, 
we simply made light work of her. I mean, wow. She did have her Tyranitar, but it wasn't much of a match for our awesome power of Leon. After our match with Ivy, though, I can't lie to you guys, this game felt like a speed run. I absolutely mowed through an insane amount of floors until we got a little special something up on floor 119. And we found the item that Leon actually uses a Dynamax band. I'm. Please, let me Dynamax my Pokemon. That would be the most clutch thing on the planet. That would be so cool to have it actually be done on this team. That'd be sick. It would just make it makes sense for Leon. You know what I'm saying? He's, we're gonna G Max our Pokemon. Let me do it. Let me do it. And immediately after on floor 122, we got our G Max mushrooms to get us the absolute monster of a form, G Max Charizard. Then once again, we continued our mini speed run, destroying every floor in front of us. We did get a fourth XP share, which is absolutely insane since none of our Pokemon were really dying on this run. We were just getting hard carried by Charizard and Rehoboom. Every Pokemon constantly stayed at the max level. It was great. We also found a Charizard died X, but we don't need that garbage. We got G-Max, the Leon Charizard. But then of course, the return of Ivy at floor 145, which is usually a smack in the face for a lot of players. But not us though. We were able to absolutely destroy her, but I'm kind of lying, she actually put up a pretty good fight. Her Tyranitar and Corviknight constantly swapping out really sort of baited our team into constant death, but luckily we made it through this cursed floor. That was an insanely difficult battle. I'm glad I, you know, got through it, but that was really fucking close. Let's let's do some revives and get, get the team coming back, because, oh my god. That actually could have been so bad, bro. I'm gonna go here. And once again, we were left with nothing but destruction in our path. We cleared out all these floors so easily. The construction zone was dominated by Oblivion Wing. Then we went to a power plant, which was light work for Rhyperior and Charizard. And then a factory, which was just also light work for our team. It truly felt like a speed run through these biomes and floors. But it led us all to the dangers of the 180s. Elite 4 Shantal... Chantal? Chantal? I forgot how to say her name. I think she's... Unova? I think. Which if she is, that's pretty awesome. Unova's cool. You know, it was actually really cool. I wonder if we can fight Iris. I wonder if they have Iris as the champion or if they have the other dude. But I actually like... I really like that. That's like a really cool... Uh, Elite Four. I haven't fought this Elite Four at all before. But we are gonna we can get through it really easily. Like, you know what I'm saying? Our Charizard is that fucking guy. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, on, I'm gonna swap to Rehoboom. Because I did pick up a TM. For... Darkest Lariat, and we're just gonna be swinging. Eesh! You know what I'm saying? Just swinging. Easily. I'm gonna. I hate Pokemon that use explosion, bro. Like I really do. That irritates me so much. Like just, it's it's okay, guys. Don't you don't have to die for it. So you could live and still fight, you know. And they do that kind of stuff. Like, what's the point? You know, what's the point? Uh, we'll bring out Dragon Ball. Um, we'll just bite. Um, there we go. Dragon Ball's the GOAT. This is cool, though. I, I haven't fought this Elite Four yet, so this is actually kind of fun to do. Our fight with the first Elite Four member wasn't too bad. We came out with just some light damage, losing two Pokemon, but easily revived, right? That wasn't too bad. You know, that wasn't too bad. We got to do a couple heals here now that we're finally in this range. But, I mean, overall, bro... Compared to the other runs we've attempted, we're kind of sitting, we're kind of sitting pretty here with Leon. Like, Leon's, Leon's got it for a team. I know it sucks we have two Seismitoads, but you know what I'm saying? I'll take it. I could, I tried finding the other Pokemon. I did. I swear I did. Okay, here we go. Elite Four Marshall. In myself, I seek to develop the strength of a fighter and shatter any weakness in myself. I have a flying type move that's gonna end you. <gasps> Whoa. He's suing Decidua. I haven't seen that yet. That looks so cool. Oh. That looks so cool. And then he whips out Sock. Nobody cares about Sock, bro. I'm... Oh, you're gonna swap someone again. Mian Xiao. Why am I using Flamethrower when I have. I literally just said I have Oblivion Wing. Conkledur. Let's just Oblivion Wing. And just murder everything that way. 
Yikes, this guy's about to get dominated by a G Max Charizard like the entire way. I'm so sorry, brother. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that to you, bro. That's a lot of. Oh, no. That's a lot of Oblivion wings, bro. When in doubt, Oblivion out. Like, oh, there's throw. They see it. Uh, he's gone. We need so many candies for Charizard this run. We're going to flamethrower this one just to spice up our moves. <laughs> oh, no. That's a cool looking uh, Decidueye model, though. I like it a lot. And then you, you're going to get. A dragon pulse for funsies because why not whatever let's just have a move variation in our life <laughs> poor marshall my boy he did not have a chance like g max charizard just swept his team he's got to go back and you know restart his pokemon adventure after that elite four grimsley the winner takes everything and there's nothing left for the loser all right bro let's let's get it on dark so we, need, we want some maybe fighting bug or fairy which we don't really have. Uh, we do have fighting. We can drain punch. Bring in one of our seismitoads. It shouldn't be. Ooh, it shouldn't be too bad. We can. We can. Ooh, energy ball. He is Terra Dark, so he should have some grass moves. That is a dumb decision on us. But maybe. Ooh, we don't outspeed. Okay. That was dumb on our part. That was dumb. I thought. You know. I thought it would be light work. Maybe, maybe we just, we're just going to burn his team to death instead. I thought I thought it would be a nice way to bring the other team in, you know, let everybody get a little, you know, get their punches in, get their, you know what I'm saying? Make sure they're warmed up for the rest of the run. And I kind of, I just killed the signs of toast. Like, <laughs> without question, I just murdered them. Uh, they're fine, though, right? They'll, they'll be revived. <laughs> After we also burned Grimsley's team to smithereens, we were quickly on to the next Elite Four member, Caitlyn. It's me who appeared when the flower opened up. You who've been waiting. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to fight you. Let's let's get it, bro. I really hope it's Iris, dude. Uh, So we got Psychics. So we got Bug, Ghost, or Dark moves. Can put in some work here. Bug, Ghost, or dark moves maybe we bring out rio boom again and then ouch and just try to darkness larry at everything oh armor Rouge. do i outspeed him yes i do cool he's so big he doesn't fit on the screen or is just the zoom in perspective off right there Ooh, a sigilive oh air slash that's gonna hurt Ugh. okay okay do i just bring in g max again and just <laughs> <laughs> just burn our team down to death no we're gonna use other things other things this time let's hex and i can't lie i definitely underestimated her a little bit because she held up a good fight against us i mean by the end of the battle we were actually only left with one seismitoad and rhyperior so she almost ended the run for us but it's time to face the unova champion who's our boss okay it's 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 alder alder that's fine I was really hoping to see my homie, the homegirl Iris. I think that'd be really cool to see, but that's that's fine. That's that's fair. We're gonna stealth rock him though. He's gonna be a very dangerous opponent. But I think we could, to be honest, it's just G Max Charizard. <laughs> we just we're just gonna you know we're just gonna we're just gonna burn him to death. <laughs> so I think we'll be ooh Buffalance. What a what a nice Pokemon to have, bro. What a nice Pokemon to absolutely get torched by Charizard. Ah, uh, bro, this is this is crazy. <laughs> We're literally dog walking as Leon, dude. Leon, you're you're a cheat code. Why did they give you a Charizard? To be honest, let's 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 be honest here. But I guess to be number one in the world, you gotta have the most popular Pokemon in the world, I suppose, which is Charizard, pretty much, especially uh, TCG wise. I guess might as well might as well give him that too. Fuck it. I don't even know why I use flamethrower. I should use a blooming wing. I'm just like I don't even have huh? to pay attention. Are we dead ass? Bro has a Groudon? Are we good? Are we I, hey, my bad. I didn't know it was like that, bro. Are you gonna swap? Come on, don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't keep swapping on me. That's crazy, actually, that he has that. What a cool Pokemon I have. Holy crap, I want a Groudon. Alder wasn't too crazy for the rest of this battle. His Groudon was kind of annoying. It put up a solid fight, 
taking out some of my seismitoads and things like that, but we eventually take him down. And he died to Stealth Rocks. <laughs> we got a premium voucher. That's awesome. Cool. We're on the final 10 stages. Can we do it as Leon? Is this our time? Are we the chosen one? We finally made it to the last 10 floors. The Paradox Pokemon here are cool, but they don't pose much of a threat. We wipe them all out, bringing us to the iconic end runner battle on floor 195. This was a very difficult battle. I tried my best to live commentate when I was recording this, but honestly, I was so stressed at trying not to lose this because I don't want to lose another challenge video for you guys. I didn't speak. I didn't talk at all. I mean, look at my face. That is a face of a man who does not want to lose to Ivy again because I am sick of her. But of course, the fight was insane. I set up my stealth rock and kind of hoped for the best. And one thing that you kind of learn while playing Poke Rogue for so many hours on stream and these videos is that Ivy and these trainers tend to swap a lot. So I tried to predict knowing her team ahead of time. So I would swap for my Charizard, Rhea Boom, Rhyperior, Dragapult to try and get the best option available. Trying to swap her out with her, you know, Corviknight, Tyranitar, and now Mega Rayquaza. It was still a very difficult battle, but luckily with our constant swapping, we were even able to take down Mega Rayquaza and take out Ivy for the last time. I finally did it. I finally beat Ivy on one of these freaking challenges, bro. I was not saying a word. I was trying my hardest. I was like trying to predict. I remembered her team. I was like, she's gonna swap constantly. How do we prep this properly? Holy crap, dude. My god, that was brutal, bro. She is so difficult to battle against, dude. Like, like truly so difficult. Let's get a max revive here. Oh my god, bro. Now we just go through to the final boss. It's a 4 200. Kill Slitherwing. Oh, I'm just so happy, bro. Finally, dude, these challenges are so difficult to do. The Nuzlocke one, the Gary Ash, like, they're so freaking difficult. So it feels amazing to actually, like, you know, get it, get some work done, you know what I mean? Actually make it somewhere. Next, we were on our way to the very top, the final floor, 200. We finally made it to floor 200 with Eternatus. For the first time in one of these challenge videos, it appears the time has finally come once again. You know why you've come here, do you not? You were drawn here, because you've been here before, countless times. Though perhaps it can be counted. To be precise, this is in fact your 5,643,853rd cycle. Each cycle, your mind reverts to its former state. Even so, even so, somehow, remnants of your former selves remain. Until now, you have yet to succeed, but I sense a different presence in you this time. You're the only one here, though it is if there is another. Me, nerd. Hey, how's it going? Uh, don't flatter yourself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Will you finally prove a formidable challenge to me? The challenge I've longed for for millennia? We begin. G-Max Charizard is first. Uh, I think we go with Charizard. I don't want to use Dragon Pulse, though, because... What if it runs out of PP? Because there is a second phase, so we only have 10. It's a tank. He's a tanky boy. Sludge Bomb, that's brutal. Okay. We have a Lumberry, though. Eat that berry. Get rid of that poison. Good job. I don't like you taking damage, though. Let's get you the fuck out of there. I was hoping Earth Power might do more. You turn a beam. Wow! Okay. Seismitoad was sacrificed for the greater good. I think you have to recharge for you turn a beam, though, right? I think I might Dragon Dart and we'd be okay. Yep, recharge one. Ooh, does it take us to the next phase? Oh my god, it does. I see the presence I felt was indeed real. It appears I no longer need to hold back. Do not disappoint me. Let's go, bro. Okay, we made it to phase two. The Eternum Eternatus has E Max Eternatus now. Super effective. Everything. The whole shebang. Okay. Reaboom. We're going to Dragon Dart. We're going to keep Reaboom in. We're going to drum beat and get that speed down. Hopefully. Okay. He's not dead. Reaboom can get one off, which is what we need. Lower that speed just in case. It's going to help. I know it is. It has to. It has to, right? You know what I'm saying? We can, we can have a little bit of an upper hand in some cases. I'm going to try again. I don't think Reaboom makes it out. 
I might. Uh, does Woodhammer have like better priority? Like, can, can I outspeed it with Woodhammer or something? Like, is that a thing? I doubt it. It's just. Come on, come on, Ria Boom, come on. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. I was hoping Ria Boom can go first. He wasn't fast enough. He's a slow boy. He's a chunky boy. We are going to. Rhyperia. And I don't want to waste another Dragon Dart because he doesn't have many. It's low HP. I'm just going to bite him. And I'm going to Rock Wrecker. Nice. Get it low. Flamethrower is a bit frustrating. Rock Wrecker is good, though. I want Dragon Pole out of there for Seismitoad. Get the hell out of there for safety. Rough. Okay. I'm going to go back in with Charizard. And what I'll do here is... Dragon Pulse? Earthquake? Because it won't make Rhyperior have to recharge because Charizard's not going to get hit by it. Recover is so frustrating. There's no way you just use that. There's actually no way you just use that. That's... You're a scumbag. It, used my char it took my charcoal? What an asshole. The earthquake again. Good damage. You're gonna flamethrower me? You know who the fuck I am? Okay, that's good. That's real good. That's real good, actually. Can Charizard hit again? Because he's out speeding right now? Oh my god, we do. Wait, this might be huge. A Dynamax cannon. Okay, Charizard, your sacrifice was well deserved. Like, you. I thank you. Halfway. Okay, he just, if he recovers again, it's over. Rock Wrecker. Boom. Let's go! Magnificent. We out, oh my god. I thought, I thought we low-key still lose, bro. Oh my god. We did it. Magnificent. Magnificent. Foe Emax Eternus fainted. We did it as Leon, the champion of champ. We couldn't do it as Ash or Gary or Nuzlocke style. I'm so happy right now, bro. I'm so happy. Oh, you're back. Does that mean you won? I should have known you had it in you. Of course, I always had that feeling. It's over now, right? You ended the loop. You fulfilled your dream too, didn't you? You didn't lose even once. Uh, I mean, I, I I lost as Ash, Gary, and Nuzlocke and all those times on stream. But sure, I'll be, I'll be the one only one to remember what you did. I'll try not to forget. Just kidding. I'd never forget. Your legend will live on in our hearts. Anyway, it's getting late, I think. It's hard to tell in this place. Let's go home. Maybe tomorrow we can have another battle for old time's sake. Hell no, it's your Rayquaza ass. Oh, congratulations! See, I beat this in uh, on stream, but I don't remember this being here. This is new for me. Dreepy beat Classic Mode for the first time. Egg Voucher Plus. Rhyhorn beat it for the first time. Egg Voucher Plus. Oh, that's right. If you beat it with a new Pokemon that hasn't done it before, you get a bunch of Egg Vouchers. And I think they get like a little metal on their thing. Oh, that's so cool. We did it. <laughs> As the legend Leon, bro. I have another character I really want to do. It's Cynthia, but she's going to be the hardest one because I have really bad Pokemon for her run. Charizard hard carried and Dracobol hard carried and Rehoboam. That was a really good team. The other three were kind of yikeskis. Oh, we did it. We did it, guys. We did it. Let's go. If there's another challenge you guys want to see, please let me know. If not, I might just do Cynthia next week. We'll see. But we did it. I'm just happy. We did it, bro. We're Pokey Rogue champions, baby!